Oh shit, where did my mouse go? There None we go. whatsoever. Let me just make sure. Okay, yeah, that seems to be continuing now. I don't know why my stream got stuck. Damn it. I lead a cursed life. I just gave myself like a quick heart attack. I thought my stream like cut off or something. And I was just like sitting here playing the game. <laughs> Meanwhile, this stream must have been over or something. Jesus. That would have been that would have been so terrible. Let's just go to bed. Hold it, Senpai. Do you hear something? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I heard it too! D don't tell me. I is there one here? One here? W one what? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> this room. It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. Jesus. Oh God, you said it! <laughs> I was trying to block it out and you had to go and say it! So that's why there's talismans here. Yukiko, that witch tempted us here knowing full well. Jesus, Yukiko, you're cold hearted. No, just put him in the room with the <laughs> where the murder was. Damn it. First the hot spring, now this. We've been completely suckered. <sighs> oh crap. There's no way I'm sleeping through this. I've made up my mind. I'm going to Yuki-chan's room. Damn, Teddy, you jumped up real fast. I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off. What? Sleeping faces? Are you going to sneak into their room? You can't be... Wait, what? Does that mean he stares at Yosuke when he goes to the bed? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking creep. Hey... What should we do? Uh, let's go. Damn, that was fast. You're damn right it was fast. Dude, seriously, I can't stay here. Alrighty, it'll be a surprise awakening for them. Oh my god, best follower pri uh, primes and viewers on mstream.store. And then there was a link that should be there if Automod didn't take it out. That's crazy. Thanks, bot. Thanks for showing up. That's amazing. Good morning, everyone. Wait, Teddy, do you just carry that with you? It's a surprise awakening. No, a surprise break in. This is Teddy reporting in. When did you put that on? Exactly. I feel awkward without it, so I always bring it. I I guess he can just like deflate it and and roll it up or something. Stop talking like that! Oh, check it out, a hairbrush. And it's got long strands of hair on it. You're really into this, aren't you? Damn straight. It's time I got revenge for the camp out. That's creepy as fuck, Kanji. I just realized what he said. He's like, man, a hairbrush, it got hair on it. That's, whoa. Hey, good point. All right, I'll get my revenge, too. A, a toothbrush! Holy crap, my heart's pounding. You guys are like really horny, horny, Jesus. But what about Nanako-chan? Don't worry, Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. Well, well, that's true, but try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. Oh, I finally reached the futons. They're fast asleep. Excuse me. Yuki-chan, I'm scared of the ghosts! All right. I can do this, too. It's time to prove I'm a man. Chie, senpai, be gentle! Chie? Not Naoto. Huh? One, two... Where's the rest of the futons? Hmm? What's going on? How the fuck you turn those lights on? <laughs> what? Sheesh. Oh, my! So that's all you guys are! Ah, uh, you should have said so! Mmm, such naughty boys! Oh. Ah, be gone! 
<laughs> Teddy just gets up. He's like, ah, be gone, thought. <laughs> Holy crap. D don't touch me. We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. I actually think Hoshwaki looks better without makeup. All right, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. She's still pretty icky to me, but I think she looks better without makeup. <laughs> Come here, tiger. Oh, I, I, damn it. <laughs> Come here, tiger. Meow. Uh, no! Get me out of here. You decided to give up and go back to your room to sleep. Oh, this feels great. Fuck you, Chie. I'm supposed to be in that spring. I love, love, love being able to take a bath anytime I want. How's Nanako chan? Fast asleep. Hey! Did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako-san were staying in the room next to ours? Those two seem to get along really well. I'm surprised. They come and stay here now and again. Usually they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. Huh. I guess they were really devastated from losing to Naoto-kun. <sighs> Please don't bring that up again. Damn, Naoto! Well, they do Sorry, I had team. to. I couldn't resist. It's just goddamn now, Toad. Jesus, where the fuck you hiding all that? The night at the Amagi Inn passes by. Would you like to? Oh yes, I would. Thank you very much, very much so. You came back from the Amagi Inn. You have the days off today because Culture Festival was on Sunday. Without any clues, all you can do now is wait for the incident to progress. What would you do today? I don't know. I still gotta catch that goddamn Sea Guardian. Who the hell is calling my phone? Hello, it's from Yasuke. Thank goodness. I knew I could count on you to pick up. Ah, damn it! I just remembered. Fuck! I hate you, Yosuke. Yosuke sounds very flustered. The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready. We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. You're the only one I could think of. Please, I'm begging you. Why don't you ask Teddy? What happened to Teddy? Jesus. All right, I'll do it. Oh my god, want to become famous? Buy follower and primes on viewers on something, something, something. That's another bot. Thank you. Thank you, bots. Okay, I'll see you at the food court. Yosuke hung up. You should head over to Junez. Junez food court. You and Yosuke are working hard on putting up the decorations. Back hurts, but I'm finally done. Damn, uh, uh, you're fast, dog. <laughs> well, this place is practically my backyard after all. Oh, wait, you're done too. But man, that costume's a good fit for you. Damn, Yosuke, you're gonna be stuck at a dead end job for the rest of your life, aren't you? Jesus, it's so natural on you that it looks like your everyday outfit. Huh. You should wear one, too. Of course. I'll put mine on once things get underway. I wouldn't ask you to do it if I wasn't going to do it, too. Anyway, you were a lifesaver. Thanks. Speaking of Halloween earlier... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the main reason why I even brought it up, really. Well, I didn't bring... What the fuck? What? How did I bring up Halloween? Shit. We were talking about something, and then somehow I t started talking about Halloween. I want to talk about Halloween because of this shit. Then 
then again, as long as he's here. It, it looks like he's having fun. Guess he's like our store mascot now. Huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke-kun, uh, what's going on here? Oh, there you are! God, that man just sounds like a fucking assistant manager. Jesus. Hey, uh, what's going on here, buddy? Come on, uh, let me just talk to you. I, it's nothing bad. Just the default manager voice, like, oh, fucking God, I hate you. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke Kun. That got canceled a while ago. What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting, buddy. Uh, what happened? <laughs> oh, well, maybe you were still groggy since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> this this is amazing, though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? Well, if you're gonna work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. Looking at me like that, you're only making it worse. You apologize and oh, you apologize. Why the fuck did I apologize? Yosuke apologized and gave you thank you gift before you went home. It was the Halloween costume that were that you weren't using. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Only in Japan you can ask for a job for one day and just never go back. It's cold today. <laughs> well, that's a lie. You can do that in America too. There's this thing where uh. You can get, like, your employment renewed every 24 hours, but it's very rare. Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society visited a local elementary school to investigate the effects of the fog. Thick fog has appeared frequently in Inaba over the past few years, and the cause of it has yet to be determined. And I'm talking about, like, thick fog, like, 35 different types of seas. One of them is in Wingding. There's been much conjecture on the origin of this fog, and some are concerned about its effects on the human body. Town officials believe it highly unlikely that the fog could be harmful. One official suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. Yeah, so just stop being scared, you little bitches. So what? Someone got killed, big whoop. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Just a random grown ass man shows up and goes, Hey little child, are you scared of the murderer lurking about in our town? Well, I am now. Shit. Oh, that man came to my school. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment. It's kind of like when you're a kid and then you see uh, unsolved mysteries for the first time. And then fucking it's just talking about <laughs> how it's like, yeah, this guy's like really violent or whatever. And the cops never caught him. Last time he was seen was about like five blocks away from you a week ago. And you're just like, what? <laughs> Last time this man was seen was... Outside of your house. <laughs> How'd you get that photo? <laughs> Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own mind, free from the influence of those around her. It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. Our primary concern should always be to protect these children's futures. On that note, Mr. Kozai ended his statement. The assembled parents applauded. But some raised concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. The news continues. <gasps> oh, someone sneezing like a kitten. My head hurts. Oh, that's not good. Nanako's face looks red. Man, she has a high fever. You need to put her to bed. Someone gets to stay home from school tomorrow and watch a bunch of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Hey, big bro. Are you... going back home in spring? It's going to be winter soon. If it snows, can we make a snowman? 
We can play a lot. Let's play all the time until spring. Nautico seems to have fallen asleep. We should take her to her bed later. So it is now November. For those of you playing this game, I recommend that I well, I rec recommend as much as I can. I hope that you yourself have been prioritizing Nanako's social link, Dojima's social link, and Adachi's social link. Because this is the hard limit for all of them, pretty much. Around uh, November 7th, I think, is the last time you can hang out with them. So the culture festival is uh, the culture festival is over. Old Man Winter is on his way. Now we're entering the season for winter sports. Figure skating really is popular, isn't it? All right. This may be gym class, but I'm gonna give you an English lesson. Think of it as a mental strength training. Tell me what the figure in figure skating refers to. Ooh. Oh God, excuse me. Fuck. Uh, geometric shapes. You gave the answer you thought was right. That's right! The figure in figure skating is shapes. Originally, figure skates had to draw specific shape- Wait, what? Figure skates. Figure skaters had to draw specific shapes into the ice and were judged on their accuracy. Personally, when I hear the word figure, I think of action figures. Those skaters look like beautiful dolls anyways. <laughs> uh, you're a pervert. You, you answered correctly. Uh, what? A uh, streamer? This is a blind watching of this the stream, so please don't spoil for me. <laughs> That's not a spoiler. I said in the beginning of the playthrough that some social links have hard uh, stop dates. Like how I also mentioned, um, like in the uh, summer, like once you start doing the summertime shit, that for the most part you won't be able to hang out with the classmates that aren't your main cast, right? <laughs> it's not a spoiler. It's just a warning. Okay, um, we can't hang out with Rize. Kanji, are you available, my friend? Actually, I should be hanging out with fucking Naoto right now, honestly. Kanji's not available any anyhow. But I'm gonna be taking Naoto into the next dungeon, so... I should be hanging out with Naoto more. Oh, Naoto! Hi there, Naoto, buddy. Hello. Good day, you. Ah, uh, yes, do you have time you can spare with me today? Of course I can. Anything for you, Naoto. I'll even kill for you. Oh no, I'll be fine by myself. No the fuck you won't. Well, if you don't mind. This. This. This was in my shoe locker. Nato's holding a sealed letter. Is that a love letter? Hmm. That would be the standard rationale for a letter in one shoe locker. Nato's scowling. Judging by the name and the handwriting, the sender is a woman. She thoughtfully provided her years and her year in class. When one factor in the heart-shaped seal as well, it's hard to imagine that this is related to my job in any way. In other words, there's no need to read it. I apologize. I wasted your time with this pointlessness. How misleading. A sealed letter at a time like this. Hmm. Let's see. What you gonna do with it? I cannot dispose of it on school premises, of course. I'll take it home and feed it to the shredder. God damn, Nauto! Nauto's words are blunt. Whether the sender is male or female, I have no intention of responding. I have no time to be dilly-dallying with callow love affairs. I assume the same is true for you. Oh no, Nauto, I'm out here trying to get my dick wet. 
<laughs> saying they love me without even knowing me. Ludicrous. Luda. Let's go. Senpai. Would you like to stop somewhere on the way? There's still some questions I have regarding the murders. Nato's taking the uh, taking the case seriously. Your relationship with Nato has grown deeper. I don't know. It, it didn't feel like it grown deeper. I just kind of watch Nato get pissed off for a little bit. <laughs> Nato's determination battle has enhanced. Now perform a follow-up attack. That's good. Then shall we be off? Nato now's got your follow-up. You talk with Nato about the murders. See you again. You walk Nato to her house and went home. I should probably hang out with Nato at night tonight, if I if I can. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Oh, you're not sick anymore. You went shopping today. That's great. You know what? I'll try my hand at some cooking. I don't think I've had like one good cooking success in this whole entire playthrough, which sucks because I'm actually pretty good at cooking and, you know, in the real world. There's a variety of food inside. You can make lunch tomorrow. That's great. Yay. What are we making? Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make California rolls. <laughs> okay. You decided to make California rolls. Watch me fuck up the most simplest thing ever. You decided to make sushi rice first. What's the key ingredient when, mi uh, when mixing vinegar with rice? I've never mixed vinegar with rice, actually. That's new to me. Um, let's see. Uh, mixing vinegar with rice? Mixing cool simultaneously? Mix before cooling. Mix and then shove in the fridge. I think you cool it while you mix it, right? Mmm. Mix before cooling. Mixing vinegar with rice. I've never fucking did that. Wow. Jesus. For the most part, I, I kind of avoid rice in my diet, honestly. Um. Shit. <laughs> I think you mix and cool it at the same time, yeah? Like you. Mmm, shit. I'm gonna mix and cool it at the same time. Okay, the sushi smell. The sushi rice smells fantastic. It came out perfectly. Fuck yeah. Obtain noble California roll bento. Thank you. Yeah, you like, uh, take it, put it over a bowl with some ice water, right? Put it over a bowl. You take a bowl of ice water, you then put the bowl inside of it with the rice, and then you mix a little vinegar in it, and you mix it while it cools so it can, like, you know, get all together, right? All that bullshit. It can homogenate. Is that the word we use out here? A oh, senpai. Good morning. I had so much fun last week. There was the culture festival, and then we had the sleepover with everyone. I was really happy. I thought I'd really never be able... What? I added a word in there. I thought I'd never be able to experience things like that anymore. Oh, did you see the weather report? <laughs> and I'm not just talking about part five. What's up? Oh, not part five. My bad. Part six. What's up? It looks like the weather's... I keep getting... I keep saying part five whenever I want to say part six. I don't know why. By the way, I'm talking about JoJo. Weather report. <laughs> or as the English would call them, weather forecast. It looks like the weather's gonna start getting rough this weekend. We need to keep a close eye on the Midnight Channel. It hasn't rained lately, so we haven't been able to see it. And might, we might be in for a surprise the next time it's on. Well, let's be careful then, alright? Yep. The town seems to think that the case is closed, but the real killer hasn't been caught yet. Lunch break? You brought your lunch today. You want to share it with somebody? Of course I do. Now, Toe, get your fineness over here. You also got me high rooftop. You ate lunch with Nato. You ate Noble California Roll Bento together. Fuck, that was a mouthful. Jesus. This is delightful. This is quite tasty. I'm amused you can cook so well, you senpai. I'm a stranger to cooking. But perhaps I should learn too. Yay! Wait, what? It said it was Nato's favorite. Oh, fuck! Yeah, it was Nato's favorite! You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. You're damn right.
All right, now to hello. Nato has asked you out. Come to think of it, someone uh someone has sent now to a mysterious card. There we go. It's it's what? What is it, Nato? Nato's holding a card. It's that card again? Yes. Yes, it's unmistakable. Nato nods firmly. Judging by the appearance, it's only the same. Wait, what? It's on the same. <laughs> shit! I'm losing my. Sh I'm losing my goddamn. My powers here. Judging by the appearance, it's on the same cardstock, the same size, unsigned, just like the last time. I'm almost certain this came from the same person. Let's talk about it somewhere more private. So I'm going to flip plane. You checked out the card with Nalto. The card reads as follows. Dear detective, your prized possessions are in my hand. Can you recover them? The game is afoot. The Phantom Thieves. <gasps> Joker, where is he? Hmm. Seems this is the work of a figure who snuck into the Shiragane estate. One may call it my palace. I'll send this to the I'll send this to Yukashiji. Fuck. Yakushiji, I hope I'm saying this shit right. So you can uh so he can turn in turn it into the police as evidence. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. How absurd! Yeah, imagine calling yourself a phantom thief. What a fucking loser. I have the time to waste on this. Hmm. Why so uncomfortable? Running away from a challenge? I guess that's right, yeah, most likely. Exactly. We're dealing with the matter that has claimed lives. The stakes are entirely different. In contrast, we have a pretty we have a petty prankster guilty of mere housebreaking, theft, and inscrutable threats. Just a ruffian who broke a ruffian, Jesus. Just a ruffian who broke into the Shiragane estate and threw down the gauntlet. Nato looks bitter. That's why I don't like this. When I'm with you, I always seem to lose my composure. I don't want to get involved with that sort of childish game. But to ignore it only makes me angry. Damn. Let's do it together, Nato. We got this. Of course we will. You're the one who brought this to my attention. Herf. Let's work together on this. You decided to accept the Phantom Thieves challenge with Naoto. You know, in hindsight, the fact that dude calls himself the Phantom Thieves. I'm here to take your heart. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. If your relationship with Naoto has grown deeper. Nato basically got a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Oh my fucking god. That that's literally what just happened. I stole your possessions. Like down to the fucking letter. <laughs> like, come on. Mind charge! Alright, what are we getting rid of? We have Tempest Slash, Agadine. Well. Damage to one foe. Heavy damage to all foes. Mmm. I'll get rid of Tempest. Ah, do I want to though? It has one to two hits. Deathbound, it's heavy, and this is... Oh, well, this is heavy one to two. Ah, eh, fuck it. Yeah, let's get rid of... Yeah, sure, get rid of Deathbound, fuck it. I don't care. Now it's been decided. Let's re-examine the first card. Must be some sort of hint there. Oh, and of course, I only intend to investigate this case in our free time. I have something else I must do. I'll see you again. You walked home partway with Naoto. Welcome back. You can work as a janitor tonight. Okay, that's cool. I can work as a janitor tonight. Should I? Maybe. Still waiting for like another Another, like, thunderstorm, so I can catch that damn fish. 
Uh, Nato's not out here, so... I mean, I can... Is Kanji out here? I should hang out with him. And get his goddamn, uh... To finish his social link. Nope, Kanji's not out here, so I'm not worried about it. Hi, Chie. Bye, Chie. Oh, actually, you know what? I have the minus, we'll use them, right? Plentiful comp, rare. I'm still gonna go for rare. Oh, and it's a new month, so. Do we have a poem? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Something is different. Marie's nowhere to be found. Hmm? There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something is neatly written on it. Song of the Fallen Angel. The Fallen Angel is chained down. Her wings torn off, eroded by prejudice. Her last breaths full of black despair. Do you know her name? Will she eventually return to nothing? Forced into the realm of oblivion? No. no. Her requiem will become a roar and tear away the mask of hypocrisy. Do you know her name? She who will strike down the cowards and tear down the lies? That's right. Her name is... What is it? Oh man, that really tugged my heartstrings, dude. I felt it. All my emotions. Must be another one of Marie's poems. What is this? What is this? Why is this here? What the hell is happening? I remember putting this in my bag. Hey, why are you reading this? What the hell's the matter with you? Do you want me to strike you down? Calm down, Miss Fallen Angel. You're disturbing our guests. And that's why I'm shouting at him. Wait, huh? Miss Fallen Angel? I hate you! <laughs> hate, 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 hate! Don't read my things. Marie returns to her seat, muttering horrible things under her breath. Jesus, Margaret, what the fuck? <laughs> I love how Margaret kind of just takes, like, the role of the mom real quick. She's like, hey, guys, snooping through my daughter's things. <laughs> Let's read her embarrassing secrets. Jesus. Uh, I have skill cards on me, right? Oh, wait, no, I gave them to you. Okay. What do I even have here? All right. Well, thanks a lot, Marie. That was that was nice. That was nice. And by nice, I mean, eh. It was alright. Wasn't bad. It was okay. Serviceable. Uh, what the hell did I want to do? By the way, I already lost my fucking train of thought. Uh, I wanted to hang out with... Oh, I'm heading to the fucking hospital. Yeah. <laughs> the music in this game? Oh, I love the music in this game. I mean, like, Persona, I'm not gonna lie, Persona 3 is my favorite, so, of course, I have bias, and I honestly love the Persona 3 soundtrack more, especially when you look at stuff like the movie, and, and I kind of put Trinity Soul under Persona 3 as well, but, out of all the Persona games, well, not counting 1 and 2, of course, but out of the modern Persona games... I honestly think Persona 4 probably ha actually Persona 4 has the best remix remakes re remix yeah the remix versions or remasters of the songs but in terms of the soundtrack by itself I I honestly think Persona 5 probably has the best one You busily clean the dark silent halls You thought you heard something from down the hall you started to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning The old lady in the morning garb is standing there again. May I help you, ma'am? Good evening. Good evening yourself. I'm sorry about what happened last time when I was staring at your face. <laughs> you just... you just look like someone I knew. The old woman smiles gently. Do you work here? Only, uh, only part-time. 
Is that so? That's wonderful. Money is wonderful, little lady. I have a granddaughter about your age. She went back home today, though. Thinking about it, meeting you here is a wonder. But I won't be coming back here anymore. Aw. Uh, then we should meet again. <laughs> this isn't a big town. We might run into each other eventually. I like to take in the sun at the riverbank when I have days off. The river sparkles so beautifully. It all feels so good. It saddens me. <laughs> I, I'll be going now. The old woman left. See? That's true. I mean, oh, you're I mean, like. Here. I personally like Persona 3 soundtrack more, but I can't lie, after Persona 5 Royal came out, especially Royal, like, Jesus fuck, man, they, damn it, damn it, I can't deny it has the best music, it's also especially because one of my favorite genres, well, one of my favorite genres, probably my top genre of music is jazz, so seeing that Persona 5's main theme of music was acid jazz was really nice. And that fucking, that last song that they do in Royal, oh my fucking god! <laughs> Jesus! Why they gotta do it like that? Hit me right in the feels. I work out to that song. It is great. I'm not gonna say which song it is for people who don't know, but fucking oh my god. And I'm not talking about bass Persona 5, I'm talking about Persona 5 Royal. <laughs> Whatever, just get in there. Oh god, Jesus, you're bossing me around. Yeah, it was so good. It feels strong. Like when you're on your last repetition and you're just hearing it in your head. It's like, man, I do believe. <laughs> okay, everything's back in order. The patient who had been in this room left just a little while ago. I want you to mop the floor. Don't ask what happened here. Uh. I can't stay in here. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding. The patient who is here was released today. He returned right from the brink of death. Sayoko smiles mischievously. I'm having a bit of hiccups right now. Jesus. He was a good patient, who's always listened to what I said. Plus, he was the president of his company at a young age. He was handsome, didn't complain, and independent. He wanted to get back to his work, desperately. I think that's the sign of, of someone who is getting killed by their work, right? President of a company at his young age, in the hospital, desperately wants to get back to work from the- recover from the brink of death. I would probably say that he had a heart attack because of the stress of his work. <laughs> right? One would assume, anyways. And thanks to his- thanks to his perseverance, he was able to leave- leave him in earlier than we had scheduled to release him. Thank you for caring for me, he said, bowing to me so happily. Then he turned around and walked out. He said such stupid things like he loved me. Everyone leaves. They only need me when they're my patients. In the end, they all leave me. Man, it is what it is. Uh, it's good they get better, right? Uh. This is exactly why I don't like kids. They try to win arguments. I'm not trying to win anything. You're the one who fucking started it. You seem to have put Sayoko in a bad mood. I must not have been making sense. Forget about what I was saying. I'll ask another janitor to handle this room. You can go home. Okay, that's pretty passive aggressive for you. Alright. The streets are dark. You shouldn't be here. You wouldn't want to get caught by me. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Officer? Yes! This woman right here. You feel that you just saw a bit of Sayoko's inner self. Nice work. You finished your job and went home. You earn 8,000. Jesus, I make more fucking fold than paper. 
I think I made more folding paper. Today is, cul uh, today is culture day, so you had the day off from school. What should you do? Well, it's raining. It's not a thunderstorm, but it is raining, so... Maybe I can try my luck at trying to get the Sea Guardian. So, I'm just gonna... Do that. If I don't get the Sea Guardian, then I'm just gonna... Honestly, I'm just gonna save Scum it, because I don't want to waste more than one day trying to get this fucking fish. Oh wait, what am I doing? I can just fast travel. What's wrong with me? Going to town. Alright, um... Are we watching the Midnight Channel tonight? Is that what we're doing? Oh my god, wait a minute. I can also head to the... I did say when I get it all together, I would take the Rainy Day Beef Bowl Challenge just to finish it. Jesus fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. Next time. Next time. Next time when we can. Oh my god, is this going to be the first stream that I don't do the fucking rainy day beef bowl challenge? I think it might be. Alright. Let's fish out. Yep. Okay. Now just like... We have three chances here. Just like the, um... The river guardian. You throw the... Well, you need the Genji Beetle for this. When you throw the fucking, um, the bobber in the water, and we get big splashes, that's what we want. See that right there? That's not what we want. I don't want that. I want big splash. That's a little better, but it's not big splash, right? You want big splash. This is why I usually want to do it on a day where it's a thunderstorm or where it's, um, or where it's like snowing heavily. I think, I think you can do it without it being a thunderstorm, but it has to be raining. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's what I want. Got you, you son of a bitch. Now this becomes easier if you've read the goddamn books. But you can- Ah, oh shit, you can snap the line. And you don't- You don't want that. Yeah, I know, motherfucker. Basically, you just want to stay in the blue. You don't want to hit the red at all. The more you hit the yellow and orange, the... The more bigger the red will get. Come on. Come on, you little bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having flashbacks to the fucking Zelda stream I did. When we were fucking getting the fish from there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Now. Come on. Come on. Come on, you're almost there. Ah! Ha-ha! Huzzah. That's a big boy. That's a big motherfucker. I don't want to continue fishing. I'm going my ass home. But now we have the Sea Guardian. So next time it's not a rainy day. Home, big bro. We can go talk to the uh, old man, finish his request, and then on another rainy day, we can go and talk to the fox. And finish the fox's social link. Alright, head on down to the shopping district. See if we can hang out with anyone tonight. Preferably Naoto, or Kanji, or Rize even. Well, maybe not Rize, because she has, what, one point left for us? Hey, Kanji! I need to increase your social link, buddy. What? Yeah, we're hanging out tonight, Kanji. Let's see. Senpai. Oh yeah, Kashiwagi's in charge of your homeroom, right, Senpai? She called me into the counselor's office the other day. I didn't go, obviously. <laughs> she said, bring it here, big boy. Kanji Tatsumi, report to, the, report to the office. What you think it was about, you know what? 
That shit at the Amagi end. Bro, she was trying to suck your dick on a school day. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe that was a little too vulgar to say out loud like that. But I mean, that's what was going down. Dude, Kanji, she was after you. Hmm. Let's see. That might be it. Maybe you're being expelled. You yeah, know, that's definitely it. Huh? I wonder if I should have ditched. I'm not gonna get expelled or anything, am I? Kanji seems troubled. Damn it, fine. I'll drop by next time. Actually, my homeroom teacher called me out about something, too. It's probably about the next final, though. Oh, really? That wasn't the good option? What would have been the good option? Maybe you'll be expelled. That probably is the one that I should have chose. Ah, eh, whatever. He's gonna become stronger uh. soon. Crap, it's getting late. Guess we gotta go home. Hey, man, I want you to have this. I said thank you for keeping me company. I want you to have this simple ointment. Thank you. Well, see ya. Later. Later, dude. Later, bro. Sup. <laughs> senpai. Sup, senpai. Been a while since it rained last, hasn't it? The weather report says this rain's gonna last all night. We're gonna have to watch the midnight channel. You're right about that. Only, only we know the real killer is still out there, right? Now that I think about it, we have to be even tougher now that the cops aren't on the case. Hey, Hosoi-chan! You were at, yeah, oh god. Yomin, Yomin, Yominaido? Fuck, I don't even know, whatever. You were at the bookstore the other day, weren't you? Whoa. Wow! <laughs> you saw me? I was buying the latest bully teacher. The shopping district is getting empty with Junez taking all the business. You could hear you could hear a Kondo Dori chirp what? A Konko A Konko Dori. I don't even fucking know how to say that. You hear a bird chirp over there. Hey kids, quit going to Junez so often. Visit your local shopping districts too. Hmm? Who can tell me what kind of bird a Konko Dori is? You Hana chan. You look like you have no problem with the silence. Wait. Is really a bird called Kakodori? I thought it was just a saying. Sorry, Hugh. I got no idea. Uh, Sparrow? Jack of the Sparrow? I thought, you know, Hanachan, I'm disappointed. What was it? Was it a crow? It is a variety of cuckoo. Oh, yes, the cuckle bird. Known for its cuckling. It's cuddling us. A sharping sounds sad, which is what led the peculiar figure speech. Okay. There's even a famous Basha Basha? Basha haiku about it. Kankodori, let me feel the loneliness in my grieving heart. Guess I should put that on the test. You embarrassed Josuke. I didn't embarrass Josuke, he embarrassed himself. Hit the books, bitch. <laughs> Read a book, motherfucker. God damn. You should apologize to him. I'm not apologizing for shit. Your social link's maxed out already? I ain't got nothing to do with you. Don't fucking talk to me, Yosuke. <laughs> you embarrassed me. Why didn't you ask Yukiko? Why'd you ask me? You know she's smart. You know she's good out here with all these mathological numbers. Mathological, not words. <laughs> All right, uh, it's raining, so I can't talk to the old man about his fish. Naoto is not here. Is well, I don't even think I can hang out with Kanji if I wanted to, because it's raining. Even if he was available, right? Um, shit, it's rainy day. I can't finish the quest. Well, you know, it's one thing for me to do. I guess this, <laughs> I guess, I guess this is not going to be a stream where, uh, where we don't visit the Aya shop, but hey, guess what? My stats are finished. They're complete. I'm going to put this fucking meat in my mouth and no one's going to stop me. I'm going to eat for fucking free. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Take a sip of water. 
make this part easier to read. Hope I don't fuck it up. <clears throat> Central Shopping District Chinese Diner Aya, you accepted the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. You still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this un- Fuck, I fucked up, damn! <laughs> this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. However, you are confident you can finish it. You finished your meal! You tried your best to finish the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Your knowledge has increased. Your courage has increased. Your diligence has increased. Aya! I'm amazed you finished the entire thing. Since you ate it all, your meal is free. Aya, you just missed her again? My daughter, she's so fucking hot. <laughs> Damn it! Why didn't they put her in the goddamn game? I'm still mad about that. Listen, if Persona 4 ever gets a fucking a remake, if I don't see fucking, if I don't see Aya walking around in that game, I'm going to be really fucking mad. <laughs> she probably might be the best wife in Persona 4, but she only exists in the anime. My daughter's out making deliveries today, too. I'm sorry she's busy all the time. Huh. He's just like, man, my daughter's so hot. If only you can meet her, then I would easily let her marry you. But you just, you guys just pass each other all the time. Sucks for you. I'm truly lucky to have such a hardworking girl, thanks to her business is booming. After finishing your meal, you went home, free of charge. Damn right. Dad's like a boss. Late. Did he forget his keys? What's up, Nanako? It was the delivery man. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. Hello, this is the Dojima residence. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh-huh. All right. It's okay. I know it's your job. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Big bros with me, so... Okay. Bye-bye. Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. Okay. You okay, Nanako? But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. Aww. There's not enough sacrifices I can make in the world to, to fucking, to equal how amazing you are, Nanako. Nanako smiling cheerfully. <sighs> it's cold today too. Want to bring out the kotatsu? Dad said we could pull it out if it gets too cold. That'll make it nice and warm. You pulled out the kotatsu from the closet. Okay, I'm turning it on. What? It's not coming on. It looks like it's broken. Damn it. That's why we can never have anything nice. Nanako looks disappointed. All right. Well, listen, Anko, I got half a million yen on me. Let's get the best one, okay? Just for huh? you. We can buy one? At Juness? Yes, we can go to Walmart. Jesus, fuck. Yay! <laughs> when you have some time, let's go to Juness. <laughs> you promised to go shopping with Nanako. Kid is so happy about Walmart. Jesus. We can go to Walmart? Oh my god. It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. Someone appeared. It's a silhouette. But it looks even blurrier than usual. You can't even tell what gender the person is. Cozy rainy days and nights. Hey, did you see that? Listen, I love the rain. Whether you stay inside or go outside, it's fine. 
the rain is great as long as it's not like very hot and humid outside while it's raining because that's when it sucks it was really blurry but you saw someone on the screen right you guys ever had fucking hail in the middle of summer i've had that happen to me like twice and one of the times hail was coming down the size of fucking golf balls i was like don't go outside you'll fucking get murdered <laughs> mother nature would strike you down damn it is there gonna be another kidnapping let's get together as soon as we can tomorrow the one just now was too blurry to jump to any conclusions but maybe someone has an idea of who it might be we definitely need to talk big fan of rain too i know right it's fucking great just remember to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school i was actually speaking of like weather and shit i was actually really happy with the amount of snow that i got over here this year because for like the past couple of years except for like a blizzard that happened around here like two years ago i want to say besides that we really didn't get that much snow but then like this year we got we got a good amount and i was really happy about it yeah. you seen hail outside uh outside of winter yeah no not golf ball size though <laughs> yeah no fucking i remember i was at like a friend's house uh during one of the times it happened and the dude was like i'm gonna head outside real quick and i was like what <laughs> he's like yeah i'm gonna head outside real quick uh grab the mail or whatever the fuck and then as he ran outside we just saw like a big ass chunk of hail came down and like smash a car window and it was like oh shit and he's like nope i'm going back inside forget about this <laughs> I was like, hey, you sure you don't want to get the mail? The fucking hail just smashed through a car window. I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> he decided to go to bed. And the other time I saw it hail in like summer, it was just, it was just random because it wasn't even, last night, as we didn't even get any like snow prior to it or anything like that or rain for that matter. Like, like, fucking, I rem it was just, like, normal one second, and then the next second, I'm like, what the fuck is that noise hitting the window? And I'm like, dude, it's hailing outside. What the fuck? To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. And yet, I definitely saw someone. Could any of you tell who it was? From a fuzzy picture like that? No way. You're a fuzzy picture, Kanji. I don't know what that means, but you are one. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? Hmm, I can't think of any offhand. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. Hmm. Huh, what's the matter? Oh, yeah, they stuck you with the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. <laughs> I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Nanako-chan, and I'm serious about living. From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. It was probably just a dream or your imagination. Either way, though, did you sense anyone in that world? Nope. No one's come so far. Then we might have to wait one more night and see. Yeah, I guess so. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Don't forget to check again later on. All right. Where the fuck is my phone? Hey, I'm back. Oh man, I'm a little bit over my stream time, but but I can't I can't back out now. <laughs> oh shit. Welcome back. Dad, the Kotatsu's broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. Alright, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Is that a letter? It's for you, but... But what? Let me see. The letter is addressed to Mr. Yu Narakami, but the name and address on the sender, uh, name and address of the sender are nowhere to be found. There's no stamps on post... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't even fucking read no more. There's no stamps or postmarks on it. 
Let me just open this in front of you guys. Don't worry here. There's only one sentence. If you don't stop this time, someone close will be put, put in and killed. Could he have sent another warning because the person appeared on the Midnight Channel? Hey, what the hell is this? Uh, calm down, Dojima. It's just a prank, bro. Not often we get letters with no return address on them. Well, obviously, I don't know. I got nothing smart to say for that. So, I was right. Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? I have what no idea you what you're to? talking about, Dojima. Uh. All right, listen, Dojima, you're not going to believe it. These things called personas. You ever watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? It's kind of like that. So you're not going to be honest with me. All right. I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. So here's the thing that I don't get, right? First of all, if you had common sense, you would never open that letter in front of him at all, right? Second of all, especially fucking, especially when my character's knowledge is at sage-like. Like, come on, what the fuck? Second of all, if it's such a goddamn problem, just... Get up, walk to the fucking TV in the living room, and stick your goddamn hand through it, and be like, you believe me now? <laughs> but I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. I will have the truth from you today. D Dad? We'll continue this somewhere else, but I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. This is for your own good, got that? It's also extra weird because in the beginning of the game, when both Yosuke and Chihei didn't believe you, you literally do that exact thing. You just walk up to the TV and stick your fucking face in it. It's alright. We're not fighting. We'll be right back, so don't wait up for us to get to bed. Nanako scared. I'll be back soon, don't worry. Okay. I'll be waiting. Later that night at the room inside the police station. Damn it. Why did I put that shit on silent? I'll hold on to this. Damn it. He took away your cell. Now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Listen, I told you, Dojima, it's about got personas and shit. And Persona. fight shadows. Kind of like you ever saw Peter Pan and now he's running around, he's fighting his own shadow. It's what we did. It's what we do. People going inside a TV? Yeah, it's right there. There's a TV right behind. I can just stick my hand through it. <sighs> I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. Enough! That's enough! I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. But I'd hoped you'd open up to me a little. Hey Dojima, guess what? Half a year, dude? My parents haven't called me once. I don't think they love me. <laughs> it's a shame. Stay here for the night. Not once has your parents called you at all. This whole entire game, no one from your old school has called you and your parents haven't called you. They don't give a fuck. Whoa, sorry. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame them. I actually can because there's a TV right there. I, I can get up and show you, Adachi. You want to see? I mean, sure. I want to believe you. Just let me, just let me go to the TV. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Then tell him to get back in here so I can stick my face through the TV. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. So yeah, don't take it so hard. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. 
I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. The fuck? Dojima's in Dojima's just punching the wall or something? What's All going right. on? I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Meanwhile at Juna's groceries department. Uh, why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. And you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. <laughs> I've entered the information age. We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kids model, though. <laughs> Th thank you, Yosuke. So to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. Man, I miss flip phones. Flip phones were cool as shit, dude. Man, remember when everybody wanted a fucking sidekick? <laughs> it's got a trackball and you flip it open and it has a keypad. Fucking keypad? Jesus, did I just call it a fucking keypad? My fucking God, what's wrong with me? How old am I? Fuck. <laughs> uh, it has a keyboard. You text with it. You can go on AIM. Remember AIM, guys? Remember when AIM was cool? Jesus fucking God. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was going to remind him about the Midnight Channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? Uh, I want to go to Nana-chan's place. I promised to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. Okay, wait, hold up. Wait, wait a minute. What the fuck did Yosuke just say? Oh, it's almost time for the midnight channel, so I'm just going to remind him. But on top of that, it's close to dinner time. My guy out here eating dinner at 12 o'clock. <laughs> I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet. You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec. I'll try calling again. Still not picking up. Oh, duh. I forgot to try his home line. Hello? Hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? No. He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. Damn, the way that music stopped, she goes, no, and then everything just stopped. The whole world stood still. Wait, what? You got taken to the police station? Stop blabbering and let me talk too! Good evening. <laughs> this is your Teddy speaking. Let's get together and eat snacks again! Weird letter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? Wait. Was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Meanwhile, at a room in the police station, I just want to say, you know what I just realized? Like, just listening to fucking uh, Yosuke go like, man, we got to call the others about this. Like, minus the, minus the anime and the personas and the magical beings and shit, this plot is literally just, like, the plot of fucking, like, any HBO type shit now. Like, basically, basically, basically we're just watching an anime version of Riverdale. <laughs> fucking, well, season one of Riverdale. Oh my god, Riverdale fucking sucks. <laughs> I just made myself depressed. Season one's great, everything else after that is fucking garbage.
time passes slowly. It's midnight. It was raining outside when you got here. Something may appear on the midnight channel. Someone appeared. It's blurry, but you can see a small silhouette. It's a girl. Most likely someone from grade school. This... this is Nanako. You can't see her clearly, but there's no way you wouldn't mistake it. Nanako, whom you see every day. Nanako's on the Midnight Channel? Your Uncle Dojima took away your cell phone. There's no way to contact your friends right now. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. Meanwhile, on the road to Dojima's residence. Wasn't that Nanako Chan on the Midnight Channel just now? How could it be her? I know what you're thinking, but Nanako Chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako-chan. A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh my god. I should have realized it much sooner. But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. What are we gonna do? Nanako-chan's home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Yosuke Senpai is heading to the police station. He said he called Kanji-kun too. They'll explain the situation there. All right, I'll join them right away, and I'll let Yukiko and Risei-chan know. Yes, please do. Sometime later in the room at the police station. Hmm? What are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Nanako-chan's missing. What? What do you mean? N Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan. I mean, your house. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. This is the KJ Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Nanako. Dojima-san. Is this true? Has Nanako really been... We gotta hurry, man. Why? Why, Nanako? Um, it's probably because the media... What are you doing? Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... look. This could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or ransom letters? No, but... Damn it, there's no time for this right now! Um... All right. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Even if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my daughter. If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not gonna wait for those clowns. 
But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way... Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! Kojima left by himself. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Dojima-san's run off half-cocked. Adachi-san, we'll go look for her too. So please, let him go! Huh? You know I can't. So what's going on? Whoa, hey! If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's... Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! The hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? You gonna own up if something happens? Huh? Kanji-kun! I know how you feel. But if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. No, that's not what I meant. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean, Nanako-chan opened the door herself? Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Like how it was for all of us. Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. So is the killer someone Nana-chan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? Uh, a friend of Dojima's? Eh, probably not. Dojima-san pretty much keeps to himself at the station. The only one Nanako-chan might know would be me, his partner. Uh, I've been here this whole time, of course. Hmm, I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Huh? TV? What? Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. You think he's using a car? Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice, since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice? Is there such a thing? What would it be? A delivery truck. That's right. Now I remember. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck! No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time, so he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. Damn! All the times I order from Tanaka's show, huh? Oops, my bad, I'm sorry. Hadachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? The profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? I mean, that's how adults do it. Uh, let's see, a delivery company, huh? I don't know, take it from a detective, I think this is gonna be a lot more difficult than... Hey! Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. I better go tell Dojima-san. 
After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary, Taro Namatame. The Anka singer's husband. All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. But well, he had a solid alibi when uh, Mayumi Yamano died. The address is, it's not far from here. I give him the clue and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Adachi-san. Wait, what? Did he just phase through the door? <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, what? <laughs> is it cracked open? I can't tell. I think it's cracked open. It's just the, the floor is is very the same color. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. What the? Hey, is that smoke? An accident? Oh. Dojima-san! Are you alright? Where's Nanako? Hello? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. That's right, I should call back up too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? <gasps> what happened? I was on my way to Namatame's house. When I saw him, drive past me. Listen, I didn't want to joke and take away from the severity of what's happening on the screen right now, but what the fuck, GA? <laughs> <gasps> what happened? It's like the cars crashed or something. I gave chase and he... Damn it. I just bumped into my fucking desk, by the way. Also, I just want to point something out that, that's kind of weird now since I'm talking. <laughs> um, How the fuck did Dojima end up on the floor there? Did he get out the car and try to walk over? And just collapsed because that's uh, maybe that's the only way I can think about it because there's no way that he flew through the car backwards I don't think so anyways and where's Nanako I'm Namatame and if he collapsed getting out the car why the fuck is he all the way over there and not closer to the to the truck find him uh, please but how oh yeah Maybe there's clues in the truck. Oh, you know what? It makes sense. It actually makes sense if he got it. The way I'm looking at it, because I'm a filthy American, is that you get out the car on the left side, but in Japan, the driver's side is actually on the right side, so he would get out the right side and try to walk around, and then he would collapse. All right, never mind. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Wait, you can't. We need to preserve the scene. Then allow me... If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. Look! There really is a TV in there! Yes, Chie, we can all hear you. I'm right here. Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. 
I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world, thus I must save people. Save? The hell's he mean by that? <gasps> this... it's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi, Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Wow. And that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He'd just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Namatame is the killer! <laughs> just imagine him ringing on the bell. You open the door, oh, do I have a delivery? And he goes, no, this is a pickup. <laughs> just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Just grabs you. We need to go save Nanako-chan. Here, let's use this TV and... Wait a sec. We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. You know, now that I think about it, Teddy has the ability to summon TVs to let them out of the TV world, so theoretically they can just go anywhere they want through any TV. And then if it's too much of a bother, Teddy can just summon some TVs so they can just leave. On top of that, if they're lost, Teddy and Rize can easily use their personas to navigate themselves back to where Junez would be at. It's kind of weird. <laughs> But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Dojima-san. Ah, logic. I see. Later, remember the hot. Speaking about logic, uh, I remember last stream I said they really don't really explain Mitsuo that well. I completely forgot that they do explain Mitsuo's situation. It's just that it's such a fucking side note that it that it literally, it literally, like just I just forgot about it. They don't make it as big as a deal as it actually is. If anything, the same TV would bring them to the same place as just who went through. I know, right? But they're like, what if we get there and it's just too dangerous? It's like, then you have Teddy summon the fucking TVs and you get the fuck out. They might skip the dungeon. Exactly, right? Dojima's eyes opened. I read that backwards because I had a hiccup. Dojima's opened his eyes. Hmm. Oh, it wouldn't have spoiled it for me. Like, because, you know, I played the game a bunch of times now, right? It's just that I don't remember. Like, out of all the times I played this game, I just don't remember how they explained Mitsuo. But then I forgot that they do explain it. It's just that they do it so quick and never bring it up again. That it's just that you honestly just forget about it. Like literally when they explain it, they bring up his name once and then they never talk about it again. <laughs> you guys. Are you all right? I almost look like hell right now. <laughs> Nanako. She's my reason for living. If I lose her. I might as well be dead. Uh, she must be so scared right now. Waiting for someone to save her. And here I am. 
when she needs me most. I'm... I'm helpless. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Doji, my son. If anything happens to Nanako, I'll make Namatame pay. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please, save her for me. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. Trust us. Get some rest. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. And then, and then you, <laughs> imagine if after this, all right, both Reese and Teddy just go, man, I really hope I'm not putting my own foot in my mouth as I say this right now, because I really hope that this isn't the case. But imagine after this, Reese and Teddy go, man, we need more information about Nanako. We really don't know nothing about her. <laughs> like, that would be funny as fuck. Just like, oh, we got to get more information on Nanako. Like, you son of a bitch. You can sense stronger determination than usual from everyone's expressions. Nanako-chan's on the other side, right? Definitely. There's no mistake. The police should be pursuing Namatame, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Yeah, we're the only ones who can. We'll save her no matter what. I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. I'm sorry, did like, Yukiko just had kind of like a lisp in that last voice line? We never catch with the culprit. She had kind of a lisp going on. Yeah, this is it. Let's go all out and get it done. I'm sorry, it's bothering me. I gotta fucking hold up. Wait a minute. I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. The culprit. <laughs> uh, damn it. She Donald ducked it for a second. I made a promise with Nana-chan. I said that we'd play again and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. My bad, not Donald ducked it. Uh, Daffy ducked it. Daffy ducks the one with the fucking lisp. Regardless, we must do whatever we can with what we have now. Donald duck just sounds like a screwdriver getting fucked by a fucking power drill. This is something only we can accomplish. Come on! We can do this, guys! No problem! Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. Nothing to it. Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. Everyone's feelings are one. Rank 9. You'll rescue Nanako for sure before the next foggy day. Motherfucker, I'll do it today. <laughs> Alright. So, you know, luckily, we don't have to uh, run around and do any investigations. By the way, while I'm here, just so I don't forget. Just so I don't forget. Right? Let me just... Here's your Sea Guardian. What? Is that true? Oh my. That's... <coughs> oh, that was a surprise. I saw my dead wife for a moment there. Oh, that's not good. You should get that checked out. But that's it. That's the Sea Guardian. I never could catch it all my years. Young man, well done. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. I'm glad I lived to be this age. I have no regrets now. Maybe it's time for me to join my dear wife. Ooh. <laughs> all right, man. No, it's not over yet. I got the fire of a fisherman lit in you. Wait, what? What? I'm sorry, did I read that right? I don't, I don't know, I fucked that up. And I can do the same for other children too. You won't mind if I do a little more work before I, before I shuffle off? Wait, what? Yeah, before I shuffle off this mortal coil. Alright, my dear? It won't be too long. Okay. 
cool just want to get that out of, out of the way so i don't forget it for next stream all right so i'm definitely over my stream time by like an hour i think almost an hour by almost an hour so this is definitely a great stopping point, and what's really good about this is that if I do need to grind for any reason whatsoever, I'm at a great point where I can do so, but I highly doubt that because when I was in the other, uh, when I was in the other, what you call it, dungeon, I got everybody to level 50, and we're pretty much already at the recommended level for this dungeon, so, yeah, that's, that's that, and... I don't know how else to end the stream. <laughs> so, that's going to be it for Persona 4 Golden today. Right? Next time we come here, I uh, I fix the schedule up a bit on the, um, you know, on Twitch. So, both of those, both of those, uh, both of those times are when, um, when I'm going to be streaming Persona 4 again, right? In the meantime, I'm going to, well, listen. I got, I was really busy this week, so I wasn't really able to do much work on the YouTube channel, but I'm going to get some work done on it this week, I promise you. I think I'm going to start just uploading a bunch of streams that I have in my back pocket, honestly, mainly because they're playthroughs that I have that I've done years before, but I never finished them, mainly because I took breaks from streaming and stuff like that, and I wanted to switch to other games, like for example, Conception is one of them. Uh, folklore for the PS3. That's one of them. I think I was like, what, two chapters away from beating that game or something. So, I'm going to start uploading, um, you know, whatever I got. Whatever I have, whatever I need to upload stream-wise. And then, um, and then, of course, right now the ongoing playthroughs on the YouTube channel is the Pokemon Marathon. Still doing Pokemon Red and Blue. And then, it's, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge. That game is more fun than I thought it would be, and it's longer than I thought it was, honestly, so, you know, there's that. And that's pretty much it for me, so, if you like the stream, and you haven't already, please follow, so you get notifications whenever I go live and stuff like that. If you want to subscribe, you can do that. Again, I don't recommend it, mainly because I only stream like two nights a week, and it's and sometimes it's not even as consistent as I want it to be, right? But if you want to do that, sure, whatever, I can't stop you. Uh, whenever I stream, I do send updates. Updates? No. I send like a notice through Twitter, so just in case you don't get the Twitch update, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do that. I also just kind of tweet whatever the fuck I feel like, whenever the fuck I feel like. Sometimes I don't tweet for a week, sometimes I tweet like fucking, I don't know, 15 times a week. I don't know, it's inconsistent, really. That's pretty much it for me. For those who are watching this on YouTube, if you like the video, please leave a like. It helps a lot with notoriety for the channel, gets us into the algorithm and all that bullshit that YouTube wants us to do for some reason. And uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, ring the bell, all that bullshit that every YouTuber says. And that's pretty much it for me, so... Once again, for those who watch live, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. It's fun to talk and hang out with you guys, honestly, and just hear updates from you and give you updates for myself. And yeah, so thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Take off.